Hey y'all, welcome to Charlene's Crochet Corner. Today is Tuesday, the 21st of September. And, um, oh Lord, where I'm at in this journey in the hospital. Okay, um, they called in an orthopedic doctor because my knee has just been giving me a fit. The pain is just terrible. The best way I can describe it is like a new, fresh knee replacement. The throb that just won't go away. So, they aspirated my leg, tapped my knee today, and the, the fluid that come out has already been tested and it has infection in it. I'm positive for whatever in the knee. So, I'm going to go to surgery tomorrow to remove my knee replacement. And then I will be on um, IV antibiotic therapy long term. Now, this surgery hurts as bad if not worse than the original surgery because I now have rods in there that are glued in place in the tibia and fibia um, and the main part of the prosthesis is of course glued and it's a huge metal piece so I don't know what all we're going to do we're going to go in there and do a washout remove parts that can be removed easily and then start me on the IV antibiotics. Oh, and my mother just called me and about 6.15, one of my cousins um, passed away from COVID. He was in his mid to late thirties and has two children and he died of COVID. So, anyway, I told my mother that I sure hope this was not my last phone call to her, that I didn't have this surgery and then end up in a bad state where I don't come back from it. So, I'm just, of course, nervous and worried and tired of hurting and and I know it needs to be done, but I'm, I'm just kind of in shock because I just am. I'm just in shock. So, I don't know what time yet the surgery's going to be because I'm sure they'll have to work me in. I know they've got a schedule, so it'll be probably late in the morning or early afternoon. So, um... Y'all, I just, I just hate this so bad. And then I don't know if I'll go home for IV antibiotics or if I'll go to like a rehab center because we're going to have to have pain control. And what I normally take at home is not going to cut it for pain control for, for this. Um, it's just not. So, um... I will try to keep y'all posted on what's going on, um, but if you don't hear from me in a day or two, just know that this is a, a hell of a surgery, and it's just so much pain that I don't deal with pain good anyway, because I have so much of it. So... Um, 
I guess that's all I can. I guess that's all I can tell y'all. Um, I'm at. Um, in case anybody wants to know where I am, I'm at Spartanburg Regional Hospital in Spartanburg, South Carolina. I don't know the address exactly, but you could look it up if you if you wanted to. Whatever, send a card or whatever. I'm in room 703. I'm in the the tower, seven tower, in room 703. <sighs> oh, if I if I win Crystal's giveaway, and I don't answer, can some of y'all answer for me? Let her know that. Or any giveaway. If I win, if I win any giveaway in the next week, can can some of y'all answer for me and tell them what's going on with me and and please don't give away the yarn if I win yarn, please. It's funny how you you worry about stuff, but. Anyway, well, y'all, it's um, going on at 8 o'clock. I get my next dose of medicine at 20 minutes till 10. So, and believe me, by then, it'll be time for it. It'll be ready for it because it, it does hurt. Oh, it hurts. Okay, I gotta go call my daughter. I hadn't even talked to my daughter and let her know what's going on. All right, y'all. I'll try to get this uploaded tonight. And y'all, please say a prayer for me because I am really worried about all this COVID stuff. So... All right, I'll talk to y'all when I can. And um, just please say an extra prayer for good pain control and for infection control. Um, I don't want to lose my leg. So, all right, y'all have a good night. And... Um, I'll be trying to, I'll, I'll probably try to text somebody and then they can, they can uh, do an update or something for me. All right, so hugs to all of you and peace out, y'all. Bye-bye.